I-16 property plant and equipment, subsequent measurement. This is a summary of the main content of I-16. Accounting treatment comprises recognition, measurement and disclosure. This presentation focuses on measurement and specifically subsequent measurement. Paragraph 29. The heading of this paragraph is measurement after recognition, so it refers to subsequent recognition. An entity shall choose either the cost model in paragraph 30 or the revaluation model in paragraph 31 as its accounting policy and shall apply that policy chosen to an entire class of property, plant and equipment. Paragraph 30 deals with the cost model. After recognition, and that's now referring back to paragraph 7, as an asset, an item of property, plant and equipment shall be carried at its cost, less any accumulated depreciation and any accumulated impairment losses. Paragraph 31 deals with the revaluation model. After recognition, as an asset, an item of PPE whose fair value can be measured reliably shall be carried at a revalued amount, being its fair value at the date of the revaluation, less any subsequent accumulated depreciation and subsequent accumulated impairment losses. In summary, subsequent measurement. There's two options. You either have the cost model where you, after initially recognizing and measuring all PPE at cost, you have a carrying amount calculated as cost, less any accumulated depreciation and accumulated impairment losses. You also have the option of the revaluation model. After initially measuring at cost, you have a subsequent carrying amount calculated as fair value or net replacement value at the date of the revaluation less subsequent accumulated depreciation and accumulated impairment losses. This subsequent measurement is a choice between the cost model and the revaluation model and both models carries depreciation. This choice is an accounting policy choice and needs to be made per class of PPE. What is meant by a class of property, plant and equipment? Vehicles, machinery, property, land, buildings. That is a class of property, plant and equipment. Let's look at an example. An entity has an item of property, plant and equipment on hand. The accounting information relating to this asset is as follows. You have a cost price, accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year, depreciation for the current year, impairment loss for the current year, and an estimated current residual value. How would you calculate the carrying amount as being the subsequent measurement of this asset? It would be the cost of 325 less the accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year, less 50,000 current year depreciation and current year impairment loss. So the carrying amount of this asset would be 100,000. Note that the residual value will be taken into account when calculating the depreciable amount of the asset for depreciation purposes, but it's not considered for purposes of calculating the carrying amount.